Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloud Sync. In today's session, we'll look at the general availability for recovery of deleted app registrations and service principles, which are now available in the Microsoft Entra Admin Console. If you as an administrator were to navigate to entra.microsoft.com, on the left-hand side, if we were to select Identity, scroll down to Applications and select App Registrations. This will present us a list of all the app registrations which reside within our Entra ID directory. With this release, and with the option for deleted applications, which is now available, you can recover applications along with their original service principles. This makes way for a faster recovery of applications, cost savings for you as an administrator, retention and preservation of data, as well as an improved user experience. If we were to select deleted applications, you will see two options for delete permanently and restore app registration. If you were to delete an app registration within here, and, and navigate to deleted applications and select delete permanently, that application would not be able to be recovered. However, as and when you do delete an app registration within your all applications pane and you scroll to delete applications, you can restore the app registration. You do have a grace period of 30 days in which you as an admin are unable to re re reduce or increase that time interval. 30 days is 30 days. If you were to restore a service principle alongside the app application registration, um, you will have to recreate the policies associated with that service principle. And to recover a service principle, you would have to use PowerShell. However, let's first create that registration and look at the recovery process. So if I select new registration and just type in test app, leave all this as, as template, and select register. This will create the application. You can see I've now got an active active um, registration called test app um, associated to my directory tenant ID. If I was to go back one pane and give it a refresh, I can see that my test app has now appeared, created on 2nd of October 2023. If I was to select test app and delete the application, so it's deleting this app registration will result in the following. This app won't be able to sign in users or access protected resources. If I select delete, the app, the application registration is now deleted, of which should now appear in our deleted applications pane. It may take a minute or two. We give it a refresh. You may need to refresh the uh, full browser as well. While that's uh, populating the deleted applications, we'll have a look at the restore process for service principles. So if I was, if I was to open the tab for restore a enterprise application in Microsoft Entry ID, we can scroll down and we can look at the restore process for a service principle, i.e. installation of the Azure AD module through PowerShell ISE, connecting to the module via connect-azure AD, and then getting the Azure, Azure AD MS deletion directory object ID and replace an ID with the service principal object ID. Once you've done that and you've got the you got the service principal listed um, within your PowerShell IC um, session, you can then restore the Azure AD MS deleted directory object and then list the object ID where the ID placeholder is. That's how you recover the service principal. So if I was to go back to app registrations and set refresh, you can now see our test app has uh, appeared. We have an option to select the app and we have an option to delete permanently or restore app registration. Delete permanently will remove the app registration from the, uh, the, the, the soft archive list in which we can't recover and we can't raise a Microsoft support ticket to recover the app registration. It's completely gone. However, we do have an option to restore app registration, which I said has a 30 day grace period. In terms of roles for deletion of app registrations, okay, we could be a global admin, we could be an application administrator, cloud application administrator, hybrid identity and application owner. In terms of the restore process, there's only two roles. We, can, we need to either be a global administrator or an application owner in which I'm a global administrator within this directory. I can then select restore app registration you see the process of restoring app registration. 
This may take a, uh, a minute. Of which, when it is restored, you may or may not have full functionality. Um, you may have to wait um, after 60 minutes for everything to propagate and recover uh, throughout the Microsoft 365 services. Therefore, don't be alarmed if you do see an error message as and when it is recovered. But as you see, when I've refreshed, you can see my test app is now recovered. Uh, once again, I can access the application and see all the, the current config and it's removed from my uh, deleted uh, folder. Any questions, please do let me know. But this is just one of the, uh, the services which has transitioned from public preview to GA um, of September 2023. Thank you very much.